Ready to go Easter egg hunting? I hope you brought a big basket, because this trailer is chock full of them. In fact, I'm surprised how many things they give away here, uh, considering the movie is about two and a half months out. I guess they just, they're going to have one more trailer, but wow, this played a little bit like a final trailer. I, I mean, I get, I, I'm just so excited for this movie, and I want everybody to have a really great experience when they're in the theater. Uh, that said, I'm going to there are a couple of things that are on the line here where people are like, who is that? Well, I'm going to tell you who it is in some cases. Uh, I just want to give you a heads up that that's going to happen here. Uh, so a lot of the leaks confirmed by this trailer. Uh, how, much is, how much is left, right? Did they tell, tell us everything already? Well, I know of at least four, maybe five characters not featured or even hinted at in this trailer, or the poster, or the Super Bowl spot, which was different, and they did not re they did not release it online. But thank you to those of you who sent me screen grabs of the shots that were new. Uh, so I guess let's go over those first. Uh, in this nifty new poster, oh, so beautiful. Although why is it Wanda on it? Uh, Doctor Strange is like technically technically it is my movie, and we're like, is it? Uh, I will say that with all the other characters in this movie, I'm so happy that the. Central focus is clearly Wanda and Strange. There's your Super Bowl, Wanda versus Strange. I'm Team Witch. I, I love that you guys came up with that. Totally Team Witch. Um, but I would, I guess the red energy is kind of Wanda. I would have liked her to have a bigger presence on this poster. But yes, in the corner, itty bitty, if you look real close, there's Captain Carter's shield. I told you when we were uh, watching What If that she was going to show up in this movie. Uh, what If is a very important show to this film. If you have not seen What If, what's wrong with you? It's great. You better watch it before you see Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. So you're not going to enjoy the movie as much. Uh, then we have the Super Bowl spots. One, some of you are calling this Zombie Wanda. I would call that Darkhold Wanda. Uh, the Darkhold is going to take hold of Wanda during this movie. It's going to be a real problem. Uh, so like a little bit like a possession. Uh, and so I think that's the version of Wanda you're likely seeing there. That's very Raimi. Sam Raimi was like, let me do a little of my own thing. I mean, it's interesting. I think this is the most of a departure we've seen yet from the Marvel formula. And that's exciting. I love it. Uh, so uh, she's covered in the blood of her enemies, by the way, which you saw from a number of previous shots. So uh, right on the money. Uh, then we also have, oh, if you want to see a zombie, though, there's a zombie. That's Zombie, Zombie Strange. We have a very cool shot of him in a wide shot later in the trailer, so we'll talk about it again there. Whoa, he needs to exfoliate. He needs, he needs some moisturizer. <laughs> so that's awesome. And then, speaking of Strange, a lot of variants, um, here is Defender Strange, a very crystal clear shot of him. Whew, he, is, he is glistening. He has a lot of moisturizer. I like the way they play with the, the white you know, sideburns, you know, he's like, move over, Reed Richards. You're not the only one with white sideburns. I don't want to give anything away. But um, he rocks a little bit of a ponytail there. He's got a little wisp of a ponytail there. Thumb holes. Uh, I guess they're not technically thumb holes, but I'm going to call them thumb holes. And also, I believe he's saving America Chavez in this shot. And you'll see it again when we go through the trailer. Chavez's powers are so incredibly well realized here. All right. So uh, let's go through this trailer. I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. So he's been having nightmares. And he's like, my house needs a horrible makeover. <laughs> he's like, how much is this going to cost me? I wonder if that red glow there, it's not a rainbow, it's a Wanda bow. It's like the red energy there. I wonder if that's in reference to Wanda. And as you guys have pointed out, this universe falling apart like this echoes the way the universes fell apart in uh, What If, when evil Doctor Strange, uh, you know, created a lot of problems. <clears throat> so is that square on the back of his cape new? I don't even know if I like it, to be honest with you. It's very distracting. You don't need no patches. So there's this house. Oh, my God, look at that. What a remodel. A little bit of red in the sky as well. Oh, and look, there's like a lot of dirt on the floor. He thought, you thought he had to clean up a lot of stuff in No Way Home with the snow. He didn't know when he was well off. So, okay, look at that. That's America Chavez. I wasn't sure at first if it was someone else and that person was, be and she was saving them, but no, that's America Chavez. And I think she's probably using her powers along with Defender. Maybe they're working together already here, with, along with Defender Strange 
to escape this, this demon. There are a number of demons after her in the film. But look at the way she opens up a portal there. She didn't even have to punch it. She just used her powers and it shattered and you can see multiple stars. Isn't that just so cool? It, I mean, it looks cool in the comics, but they did a gorgeous job with it. I love it. A lot of denim in this movie. You'll see Wanda sporting denim a little bit later on. Sam Raimi must love denim. I actually don't like denim, so I guess I'm like, whoa, what, what are you all wearing? All right. So she, that, that's the demon who's after her, and you can see all this matches the Defender Strange shot, and there he is going through the portal, and oh, his face looks bad. I don't think he made it. Maybe Wanda killed him, and he took the blow, and he was like, save yourself, America Chavez. Go find another of me. That looks really cool. That's spooky. Thanks, Raimi. Now, I, I was caught off guard by, by this. I was like, oh, okay, shirtless and looking good, Benedict Cumberbatch. Uh, Marvel really has the regimen down. Talk about a Marvel formula at the gym. Uh, but I guess, you know, Benedict Cumberbatch is like, move over, Chris Evans. The Chris's I also can glisten. Uh, so anyway, but he's also, he's like, I'm also a genius. The, my biggest muscle is still my mind. Thank you very much. But he still has some very nice glossy tech in there as well. Look, he fell asleep with his iPad or Microsoft Surface. Who paid for that uh, for that product placement? It looks like an Apple. Yeah, he would. Doctor Strange is not a Microsoft kind of guy. So I think he has like what? Like uh, maybe like the, the iPad Pro? All right. <laughs> let's talk. Let's spend a long time seeing what uh, uh, Apple products he has. All right. Imagine Dr. Strange coming to the Genius Bar, and he's like, I wake up, and that's when the real nightmare begins. Boo-boo! And look at those weird, like, swirls going through the, through the logo. With a little bit of tinge of red to it, Wanda's like, I'm not leaving my signature on this too, obviously. Maybe that's Wanda and the Darkhold mixed together. Don't read that book. Books are dangerous. With ideas and powers. So I believe that's still Wanda's red energy, right? So all these different universes, and I think Wanda, and he's like flipping them around. Look at that. And putting them back in a book. Book, book, book. He and, he and Wanda both like to read. They should do an ad for libraries. All right. So there's New York. Now remember, Doctor Strange used to live on 57th Street and the, and the West Side Highway. Did he move down to Hudson Yards? Hudson Yards is like, yes, please. We just lost Neiman Marcus, but we gained ourselves a Doctor Strange. So that's Hudson Yards there. You can kind of see that uh, the honeycomb thing there. Or uh, shawarma, which everyone says what they think that is. That'd be actually, although that, of course, has horrible number of tragic suicides happening at it. And I believe it's now permanently closed to the public. So anyway, Wong is like, you can't control everything. And he's like, yes, I can. I feel you, strange. I also, I'm like, I'm a big control freak. So from director Sam Raimi, that's very sweet. That's very, very nice. Somewhere Scott Derrickson is like, could have done it. I think Scott Derrickson could have done it. Uh, this has like a, a coldness to it, which to me, I guess is a little, a little army of darkness, but it, that's what, where it feels different. You know, it's like, it's like an R-rated Sam Raimi movie, but with like all the R-ratedness sucked out of it so we get a PG-13. So you're like, it feels very dry. Lack of blood. So Wong is like, maybe I was wrong. So there's Christine Palmer, her one shot in the trailer, even though she did get an emoji today. She's like, I got an emoji, damn it. So everyone's running. And there's Wanda. Because uh, Wong says, who knows what's going to come through. Wanda wants to travel the multiverse. She's looking for something. So, but Doctor Strange doesn't realize it. And he's like, what do you know about the multiverse? And she says, Viz had his theories and he believed it was dangerous. I love that her nickname for Vision is Viz. He'll be back. And where's White Vision, by the way? Maybe he'll show up in this movie. Maybe she tore him apart and he's on the trees. You never know with Wanda. So, he looks like, uh, Doctor Strange looks great there. He looks a little bit like he has allergies. All right, so look, so they're taking a stand here, and that green bull is actually a character from Doctor Strange Comics. That's Rintra. All right, so a lot of like Easter eggs like that. They're like, why did we bring arrows to a cloud fight? <laughs> so Doctor Strange is like, it was, it is dangerous. So this summer, and we're like, we already saw this shot. It's beautiful, but I don't need to keep seeing it. And here again, different version of Mordo, a cooler version being like, Steven, you've messed with the, you've messed with the multiverse too much. So I'm sorry, buddy, but I've got to arrest you. Oh, look at that. High tech, 
Stark Tech? Uh, handcuffs? Magnets. So look at this. So this is very cool. This is beautiful. This is apparently Illuminati headquarters. We're about to see the Illuminati in just a moment. Now, some of you, is this like Dr. Strange? I mean, uh, Tony Stark references maybe? Uh, I'm curious as to what all these statues are referencing, but he's being walked about by Ultron kind of guards, right? Some of those have a little bit of, uh, you know, junk in the trunk, <laughs> uh, those guards. But that's very cool. And he's like, oh, this is the cleanest prison I've ever seen. All right, so there's the Illuminati. And I think that's Mordo up there, I believe. I think it's Mordo taking his seat. But, you know, the Illuminati and the Illuminati enforcers are going to be, oh, a lot of candy for us. They're going to be Easter eggs galore. So uh, he's going before them to have a, an audience in front of them. And we hear, we only hear really Professor Xavier, AKA Patrick Stewart saying, maybe we should tell him the truth. I think to like shut him down, right? Cause you know, the Illuminati are usually not nice guys. So Strange wearing a beautiful blue outfit, by the way, looking snazzy Strange. So we see just, just the little shoulder, the shoulder pad of Professor Xavier. That's awesome. Good for Patrick Stewart. All right, so enter a new dimension. And there's like, look, there's a dinosaur. So is that the savage land or is it like a whole nother dimension? Oh, so I, oh, see, see, she's taking them through the dimensions. They're crashing through her powers. And this one looks like it hurts. Ooh, I do love Benedict Cumberbatch's uh, scream. A new dimension of strange. The taglines write themselves. So here he is again with evil Doctor Strange. If you know, I don't know if that's the one from the con, uh, from or what if, but this is one that doesn't seem to be that great, right? I don't. I certainly wouldn't trust this guy. And Strange does it. Now, some of you are wondering who this is. This is Captain Marvel, but it's a different universe, right? So what if Maria Rambeau became Captain Marvel instead of Carol Danvers? And I'm very happy for Lashana Lynch because she is looking fantastic. She really, she's got the powers and she know, knows how to use them. So she's bursting through and Wanda though, she's like, ah, uh, I don't need such a light show. Wanda looks great. Elizabeth Olsen, just like uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, really sells the hand movements. And she's like, oh yeah, and coming in hot, I'm gonna stop you. But, but they seem evenly matched because there's a big explosion and they both go flying. But Wanda stops herself and kind of hovers there. That is so cool. I'm so excited for that. Oh, it's going to be amazing. So then we go back to this fight. Yeah, not as cool. So, oh, there's, uh, there's America Chavez. We see a better shot of her in a few moments there. So she's like, ah, oh, more demons going after me. Strange is like, got it. So he's like, so Wanda is saying, you know, you break the rules, you become a hero, right? And look, he's turned, that looks like uh, Gotham after uh, Zero Year or whatever, after the, the, the Riddler flood in the comics. But anyway, yeah, all well, those white trees though look a little like Wanda's trees. But yeah, so America, I mean, uh, New York City is a greener place and Doctor Strange, I guess, is responsible for it. And Strange is like, interesting to know. And she's like, but when I do it, I become an enemy. And like, welcome to being a woman, Wanda. He doesn't even know what to say to that. And we're, I'm like, I relate, Wanda. I think a lot of women can relate, right? She's like, I, we're doing the exact same thing. Why are you a hero and I'm an enemy? He's like, I don't think I killed a lot of people. Uh, he's like, but I shouldn't maybe bring that up right now. So there are two Wandas here. I'm not gonna give away why there are two Wandas, but this obviously is the house from WandaVision, right? And uh, I believe that, you know, this Wanda wearing a different outfit on the floor, uh, things have, you know, she's having a bad, things have not gone well for her here. Uh, poor Wanda, she spends too much time crying. This other Wanda's like, that's gonna end. Enough of this. She said, it doesn't seem fair. I like uh, Elizabeth Olsen's performance. I hope she doesn't go too far into camp though, because you know, you're, she, I want her to keep Wanda as the sympathetic villain and not like nuts. I guess she can blame it on the dark hold, but eh, like, I don't know. It's, it's a very, if anyone can pull it off, it's Elizabeth Olsen. It's a difficult line to, to walk. So there they are back in the Illuminati place in Mordo and they're fighting as we've seen before. So there, there is uh, uh, Sochil Gomez uh, as America Chavez. She looks great there, getting ready to punch uh, a, a doorway into the, she looks so different though. That she's like a young, much younger version than the comic book character who just joined the Thunderbolts, which has been reimagined for Marvel Comics. 
So look at that. I believe that's not her, though. I believe that is the, you know, after Captain Marvel clashes with uh, Wanda. Because we're back. It looks like the same building. So look. Oh, so Wong's like, look at this. Oh, he's doing some rope tricks. That's really cool. Look at him go there. Wow. And there, that's, that's a tragic, beautiful shot of Wanda. The blood is black on her. That's how long it's been there. She's like, I kind of like, I, I'm keeping this shirt. Uh, but yeah, she's wearing jeans. But look, she just, she, that's fantastic. That look just looks really great. It's like, is it her blood? Is it someone else's blood? But she's not going to stop. That's really great. Now look at this. That looks almost like Defender Strange, right? So you think that maybe he's fighting these guys, but it seems like he's sucking them in, and that's what he looks like afterwards. Oh, that's pretty amazing. He looks like a spider. So it's a take on that, of course, famous shot from Infinity War that we all fell in love with, but of course, much darker. That looks even worse than Evil Strange from What If, actually. That's, I think that's maybe, maybe Defender Strange things didn't turn out so well for him. We'll see. Maybe it's a whole different Strange, but it's really cool. That's just amazing. So Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness is living up to the name. May 6th. Oh, we'll all be there. Also, Michael Stolberg, interestingly, got credit here in the credits. He played Nicodemus West from the first movie and from the comics. Not a huge character uh, in the move, first movie or the comics, but I'll be interested to see what they do with him here. I'm a big fan of Michael Stolberg. I think he's a good actor. So, very exciting. And Michael Waldron, of course, wrote this, who wrote, uh, who is the head writer on Loki. So, I sure loved that. So, I feel very confident in how this is going to turn out. All right, so what did you think? What were your favorite Easter eggs? Which team are you on? Team Witch or Team Strange? Well, I don't even know what the, the slang is for Strange. I think it's Team Strange. But she uh, just, I think this is, I mean, I'm excited for Doctor Strange, but I'm, I think this is going to be iconic for Wanda. It's amazing. All right, share your thoughts down below, subscribe today, and of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.